Ladies, gentlemen, meat bags alike. We are doing something a little different. As you can see on the screen, I might have accidentally skipped the title screen, but uh, I digress. We're playing Fancy Star Online, Blue Burst. Now, I was having a pondering moment of, for this new Let's Play, have a character worked up already, but not, you know, max level character. Gotta have a little bit of spiciness to our uh, gameplay. Or just go with a new character. And I'm gonna decide right here, with a coin flip. Yep. We're going to do uh, heads, work on, uh, continue on the character that already has some levels, or tails, new character. All right, and flip. And it's heads. You know, two aisle three, two aisle three, just to be fair. We got tails, so time for the uh, two out of three. And tails. All right. New character it is. Let's watch this for you guys' sake. All right, well, hope you enjoyed that little introduction video. Now, before we create a character, you know, class, race, whatnot, I think I'm gonna give myself a little bit of set rules because I do feel like doing a hue cast or hunter cast, but um, that wouldn't exactly be fun, like, the main and the previous character that, you know, if we did uh, the one that I've been working on was a faux mar, which, you know, force human male. This time I feel like doing a hue cast, hunter cast male, but where's the fun in that? So 
I got a D8. And I'm going to roll it just once. And whatever number it lands on, because, you know, 1 through 4 being the Hunters, 5 through 8 being the Rangers. We'll see what happens. And... Well, if I had a camera, I would be telling you that, honestly, I'm not bullshitting you when I say this, but I landed on a three. So, let me uh, think this through a little bit. Head one's kind of nice. Kind of like two. But I also like five. Like, I forgot how to rotate in the first place, but... Yeah, I, I kind of like uh, Headpiece 5, because... If anybody's ever played uh, Crystal Chronicles, like Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles back in GameCube, or that re-release, like... The remake release on uh, Switch... I actually prefer the Ukes. And that's where their head kind of reminds me of. Uh, let's go with wide then. Thick. No. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, tall is kind of expected. Do more than that. Nope, too long. Okay, I guess uni it is. Pink? Whatever. Now we're connecting. Now you're about to be seeing some things. Now you know, uh... What server we're using. Play mode, one person. Oh no cup and... Well, this is just going to be recording, so the password is always going to be different, so... Fuck you, Bingus. You and your terrain. Alright, time to set some things up. comfortable for me. Yep. 
Got my uh, shovel salet head. And uh, let's see, just double checking, double checking. Now, I could just straight up run in there, but, you know, what would be the point of that? There would be no story. So let's get some story. The Magnitude of Metal. It's the first on the list. Are you the hunter from the guild? I'm Garan, a trader. I want you to go down to Ragol and retrieve my lost items. It's really important. A business opportunity like the wish of no one, ha one has ever seen before. I'm sure I'll become a zillionaire when I get it all back. That useless ranger said that an android took them. Find that android and get back my items. Understood? Yep. If you need any more info, ask that stupid incompetent ranger. Uh huh. I feel like I don't like this guy. But whatever. I'm just doing my job. Garon's uh, commodity. Ah, uh, they're just mags. Just mags? Excuse you, friend, but I will go on a rant about mags later. They are wonderful, sweet little things. They're like weirdly adorable to me. Almost like the chow. Garon happened to find out the mags could be found on the ground. He asked me to collect some of them. I accepted it for the Masetta. I collected enough mags on my gold to make everyone happy, but then I thought about the mags and the hunter who used them before. Mags are just protectors invented by a scientist. But we're given one when we become hunters. It's kind of a tradition. Mags are an essential piece of equipment to hunters, right? Yes. Well, I was thinking about this, and Android appeared, and it was uh, it was right through. Garon shouldn't use them to get Masetta. Yeah. Treat your mags with respect. Give them love. Give them care. Already founding some uh, decent armor. I, I wouldn't say decent, decent. Like it's no better in uh, protection, but it's still got a uh, slot for an accessory. Ooh, and a new saber. Okay, cool. Not for these kind of monsters, though. But uh, you know what? Why not?
Come here, I'm gonna hit you with my sword. Ow. Continue on. Come here, Rappy. Come here. Yes. Get together in the nice bundle of pile, huh, death pile. Come closer to me. As usual, I don't really have much to comment on, except that, you know, I actually enjoyed this game quite a bit when I used to have a GameCube. It is, like, a sweet little introduction. It was kind of my weird introduction to the sci-fi element. Sure, it's science fiction, but it feels... Weirdly grounded, like in a weird universe state, in a sense. Maybe when I was, you know, like, maybe I was actually a lot more wise than I actually first intentionally thought I was when I was younger. Because it just feels so weirdly natural to me. All right, let me check the mag. Yep, time to feed. Well, one still missing. I was surprised. Ah, excuse me. Have you seen a mag around here? I am looking for it. What? You have come here to retrieve mags? No, no. I didn't mean to take them from the ranger. But they all looked so sad. So I just started talking to them. And they looked very happy. I just wanted to say hello. But they all wanted to come with me, and they chased me after me. Then everyone returned to their master's play <laughs> pace or place. They aren't here now. Only one mag was uh, saying that it would come with me, but it disappeared. Sorry about that. Are you going to look for it? Let me join you. Maybe I didn't stray too far from me. By the way, I'm Eleanor. Eleanor Camus. I am an android. Okay, you join me.
You do your uh, follow me then. Be my backup. Just, you know, try not to kill them too quickly. I'm trying to get my hits in for levels. Are you mad because I let the Anham Mags run away? I'm sorry. But please listen. I don't know if you're aware of this, but... Mags are int intelligent. Yes, yes they are. When a hunter equips a mag, it recognizes him or her as its master. Some mags are clever. They can even uh, they can protect or heal their masters. Moreover, some can do a lot of photon damage. Doc told me, but I forgot. Ah, uh, anyway. Mags try to help you if you're nice to them. Mags feel very sad when they lose their masters. Mag Sympathizer, give your mag some love, treat them uh, well, raise them correctly, and they'll do good for you. You know, guess uh, get ready for a bit of a hot take. Who remembers Chances Star Online 2? And then who remembers uh, Fancy Star Online 2 in GS? I do like the open worldness that is uh, fancy in GS, but at the same time, I feel like in GS really just, you know, where's the mags? Where's the mag growth? Just waiting for this Rappy. Excuse me, I do n I don't know if I should tell you this, but Oni, your mag is hungry. Yes. It's alive. It needs something to eat. And it's best to give him a give a mag its favorite item. Each mag has its own characteristics and its own favorite items. Yes. Some like uh, monomates, others like dimate. To feed your mag, open the menu uh, window, select item pack, then mag. Then select give item, that's it, it's easy. Try to know your mag. It grows as its master gains experience. Which reminds me, I should actually uh, check again. Yep, it's hungry. Even better frame. I'm just getting weirdly lucky right in the beginning with uh, the frames. Your mag is very cute. Thanks, it's just wee little baby. 
Aw, I like my mag too. How can you communicate with mags? Well, because she does not know. Well, I shouldn't really assume her gender or their gender because, you know, female model, yes, but that doesn't mean, you know, actual female. You know, life lesson for anybody on the internet. Oh, I just remembered. When mags get damaged, they charge enemy energy to endure the pain. This charged energy can be converted and can be converted into a photon blast. But I'm not sure. When the energy is fully charged, your mag tells you to use it and uh, use the power. Okay. Yeah, let me uh, double check something here. Sort automatically, good. Hey, there it is. There, over there, can't you see it? Yes. Got missing mag. Hi again. I see. He visited his ex-master to say bye-bye. Now it's done. It says that it wants to have a new master. See, Max prefer a master that loves them. Uni, please, take care of your mag. If you can't hear its voice, know that it understands you. Alright, do you have anything else? Mags are good partners to hunters. I know my mag. I can have feel my mag because I'm very close to it. Where is your mag? I don't see it. But no, I'm not really going to give a shit, you know. Same shit. All right, before turning in the client, I first time to sell some things. I could find a barrier. And you? Feed the mag. I'm happy to hear that. The mags would want to be would be much happier going back to the masters. All right. What? This is the only one. The other mags returned to the masters. The masters were already dead. Anyway, you can get your Meseta at the guild. Your job is finished. 
I think he finally realized the weight of, you know, the mags and, you know, their bond with master and they are uh, previous masters. All right. Get paid. All right. We'll count that as a uh, episode one. Until next time, ladies, gents, meat bags alike, have yourselves a nice day. And someone actually give me some honest criticism or feedback on these videos. I am been waiting. But until next time, take care.